What's up everyone, Adam from Cape Crawlers, and in this video I'm going to be completely transforming the look of our Axial SCX-10 early Bronco. I came across this Bronco on the Barrett Jackson Auctions website and I had to convert ours to look like it because it blew me away. So we're going to be jumping into this thing and totally transforming the look of it. I got my hands on a new body, we got some new wheels and tires to check out, it's going to be fun. So let's not waste any time, let's jump in and check it out. So the biggest update we're doing in this video obviously is we're going to be painting a brand new clear body. And this is what I've got for my color. I've got this Tamiya Camel Yellow, which is really like a bright orange, orangish yellow color. I picked this because I saw a retro Bronco, an early Bronco on the Barrett Jackson Auctions website. And it was this orange color with black accents and black wheels. And I immediately fell head over heels in love with it. So after a lot of searching, scrolling through the Tamiya catalog, I came across this Camel Yellow paint and I think it's perfect. So this is what we're gonna be doing for the body. I got two different wheel choices. The next big thing is gonna be wheels and tires, wheels primarily. So I've got these awesome deep dish black Enduro wheels. Now again, going back to that Bear Jackson Auctions Bronco that I found, it was running those black wheels, which I really, really liked. And the orange and black combo just looks so good on the early Bronco. So I scored these Endura deep dish wheels and these things are amazing looking. They've got a big negative offset on these things. So it's going to give us some extra track width, but also give us that deep dish look. These are much deeper than I was expecting. It's about a half an inch deep in these wheels. And they've got these big chunky spokes, which I really like a lot. I threw the BFG KO2s on here just so that I could do a comparison. I'm going to mount the Falcons on our next set of wheels so that I can switch them back and forth to get a quick comparison. But this is option number one, the Enduras. Number two, I picked up these retro aluminum wheels from RC Lions on Amazon. Now again, keeping with the Resto Mod theme, I really like these old school looking aluminum wheels. They've got a great, beautiful finish to them. Very reminiscent of classic wheels. So I'm really torn on which wheel choice I want to go with, which is why I got both of them so I can try them both out. But these are going to be our options here. Also got a scale fog light kit for the front too. So that's just going to be a nice little addition. But I'm going to open up the body and get to painting it. And then when it's all said and done, we will throw the wheels and tires on and see which one we end up choosing. So I got my body all prepped. I got it washed, masked. This body is really easy because it's only one square or one rectangle piece of masking, which is nice. Washed, ready to go. I do my orange first and then I'm going to back it with the bright silver. So here we go, let's get into it. So I think I'm pretty much done with the orange. I think this is about as good as I'm going to get it. This actually turned out to be trickier than I thought. These little crevices and creases in around the doors were really tricky and I was having a hard time getting the paint to stick in there. So hopefully it turns out okay. I love the color, very happy with the color. So I'm gonna let the orange kind of dry for a little bit. I'm gonna start disassembling the body and getting ready to change things over and then I'll come back and do the silver. All right, so just wrapped up the silver coat on here, the silver backing coat. I think it looks nice. I just did two pretty solid coats. The silver coats really well. Pretty happy with it. It's tough to say with the protective coating on the outside because I got paint all over it, but hoping it comes out good. Fingers crossed. It's the windshield. So I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to go have some lunch and then we'll come back and we'll peel the outer layer off and see what the finished product looks like. MOT, moment of truth. Let's take off the coating in the mask to see what this looks like. Whoa, 
windshield looks nice. First impressions, I think it looks pretty good. It looks a little thin in some areas. I don't think that'll translate on the truck itself. Whoa, I think it's gonna come out nice. I think it's a success. All right, let's go put it together, see how this looks. Quick break guys, just got the cage on there, it's not bolted down. I got the grill put on, just working my way through this nice and slow. I am so in love with the color. I hope this translates on video because this is so perfect, this is exactly what I was looking for. Just looking at the spare tire on the back, I feel like the old school aluminum might be the way to go, but I don't know. That looks pretty rad right there. We'll try them both and we'll see, but I'm gonna get moving, do these last finishing touches, and then we'll assemble this thing. Alright my friends, here is the Bronco. This could be my favorite build that I've ever done. I am so pumped with how the colors came out on this thing. The orange is exactly what I wanted. Perfect match to that Bronco that I saw online. I love everything about it. I put the fog lights on the front with the covers on them. I think that looks awesome. They also light up. They're super bright actually. I went back and forth whether or not I was going to put these black decals on here ended up doing it because I figured I could take them off if they looked too like they were too much but I think it's good I like it now the hard question is what to do with the wheels now these black wheels look super sharp the dish on them is crazy they widen the track out substantially almost to the point where I'm a little concerned I'm gonna get rubbing issues maybe we'll see maybe not they look great with the BFG KO2s on here couple of concerns with them one is that I almost feel like it's too much black I'm thinking the silver might be a better choice to break up the black and orange and it also doesn't match the spare in the back so I would have to either take that out or paint it black to match so I don't know I'm really on the fence I think what I'm going to do is put the silver wheels on it to see how it looks and then make a comparison after that so take a good look at it as it is right now, and then we will. Here is the silver. What do you think? I am so torn here. I'm just not sure. I think the silver looks incredible on here. For a couple reasons. One, I think it's super scale. It closes in the stance, gives it a more scale look. These also really fit the resto mod theme that I'm looking for. It's got a great retro look to it. Super authentic. 
They also have these nice aluminum caps that cover the wheel nut. I like that a lot. They were, they were pretty wide open and exposed on the black wheels, although the nut is black, so you don't really see it. And it also matches the spare really well, although it's a different style wheel. They have very similar finishes. So I'm really leaning towards the silver wheels here. I just love them both. I am so torn. You guys got to let me know in the comments which ones I should pick. But I think I'm going to leave the silver ones on here for now, mainly because I am so anxious to get this out and drive it and see what it looks like out in the sun. I'm going to pack this thing up and go hit the trails. So after spending a couple days with this thing and running both setups, I think the set with the black 
wheels is the way to go. It really started to grow on me. I also put a poll up on Instagram and the black just narrowly edged out the silver. So I put the black on there, ran it, hit the trails, and it really grew on me. And I think this is the way to go. I got John Cena in there checking it out. But I think the black, you know, with the black stripes and everything, going back to my original vision of that early Bronco on the Barrett Jackson's website, I think this really just checks all the boxes and accomplishes the look that I was really going for. So I am super pumped with this. I've had a blast with it. Still not craving a whole bunch of performance for it. After running it on some pretty gnarly sections at Fort Phoenix, I feel like it could benefit from some more weight down low. I did put the 90 millimeter shocks on it from my Gladiator, so it did bring the ride height down a little bit, but I still feel like it's a little tippy and could really benefit just from some more weight down low to keep it more planted. Maybe shift some more up front because I did find it would start rearing up and doing the Jeep wave earlier than I would have anticipated. But overall, super fun to drive, great to look at, so scale, and I just adore how it came out. So this was a super fun project, but let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of the look and which wheel choice do you recommend? I'm gonna keep both sets. I'll probably swap back and forth, but definitely wanna hear your guys' thoughts. As always, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so, and I will see you in the next video.